Hey friends, James Clancy here with a short little fun video I wanted to build. So I started looking around at more ways that we can integrate with other AI things around us because, you know, we all like to use AI to make our lives easier. So I was looking around, I found this project Galileo and it's an awesome product. It lets you describe the design you want. I'm not a designer, I'm a developer. So it's kind of cool to just go in and ask for a design. And so instead of describing one, I'm just gonna use one that someone else has done, a sample here. And by opening this, I can just say copy to Figma. Okay, copy to Figma, perfect. So now I'm gonna go over to Figma. I have a new design and I'm just gonna paste this here. Brand new design, just copied it over. And it's interesting, it does do this giant frame thing and nothing's named. So we know we're not gonna get good names inside of um, Locify when it creates components and things. But that's okay. Um, this is not a responsive design. Everything is fixed. Um, if I was to play with the dimensions on this thing, it's not perfect because everything is just a fixed space. So what I'm gonna do though, is we're just gonna try running Locify on this. Oops, not export. We're gonna go to plugins. We're gonna launch Locify and we're gonna run this and see what happens. So I'm going to create a new project. Actually, if I just do let's go, it'll have me create one. New project, web, react, and I'm just gonna leave it as default settings and I'm gonna click create. And we're gonna say, let's go. And we'll run it for this one frame and we'll see what happens. All right, it's done. Like I mentioned, we know layer names aren't gonna do much because there's no context. We need something to derive context from. But this site um, has been generated and it is responsive. Really fun to see it switched to a nice responsive and it looks beautiful. It is great. great. So let's go through and it even created components. Let's take a look at those. So it did go and create instances of those two items, which is exactly what we'd expect. And it's nice and responsive and we can export this directly to HTML and CSS, or in this case, TypeScript, without us having to do much work. We went from design to code, actually from no design to code in just a couple of minutes. And it's really exciting. So I'm gonna look for some more projects to try and integrate with. If you have any ideas, let me know. All right, thanks guys, see you later.